my name is Daniel Adamora. Um, I'm 21 years old now and here living in British Columbia, Canada. I've been here for 13 or 14 years now, something like that. Originally born in Nigeria and then moved to Brunei for a couple years, five years for my dad's job. He's a geologist with Shell Oil Company. So, yeah, so we moved there for five years for his work, um, being a project manager. And then when we were supposed to go back to Nigeria, we just flew to Canada and he was working overseas in Nigeria while we came here to, just for a better lifestyle, better ed education. My dad doesn't tell me, I, doesn't tell me too much about Nigeria and stories of his background. He does, but not as much as my mom. And I think that's just because of going overseas to work, so I don't see him as much. But uh, my mom, yes, many stories. I think the one thing I would say as a theme that she'll be nostalgic over is the community environment, how everyone's close, because you have to be. Because um, the your neighbors, even though, and once again, it's not necessarily the nicest environment in Nigeria when you see a random person, but the people that are close to you are like family because you usually depend on each other. Because what I have, you probably don't have. Whether it's I have the chickens and you have the goats and so on and so forth, it, you have to work together. If there's anyone who could have easily given up, it could be my mother. Mother of five children, four of them boys, and we're all aggressive, very aggressive. Many fights, many things. I remember a time she's called the cops on me. Just, yeah, I was so aggressive being a child. Like, who people see me today, they think like I'm such an angel. I'm so good, but like, just give me three years ago, I was the complete opposite. It's funny just to see how much I've changed shortly. Um, but the la the first 18, 19 years of my life. I guess I was better as a child, but the 10 years in the middle, I guess, where I really started to go haywire and just was aggressive, violent to my parents. I got into so many fights and got into stealing, robbery, selling weed and different drugs. And I'm, I mean, I'm not, I don't think weed's that horrible, but at the same time, it's a gateway to do worse things, you know. And I guess it's just God's grace that I didn't go into doing worse things. I remember my friends went to selling coke, and I just kind of was like, I was like, I don't know if I want to go that far. And then one of his friends got killed just recently that the same summer of that year so I'm glad I didn't but like yeah just the troublemaker I used to be I'm sorry mom um, and I'm glad that she stuck through it just being my mother I mean I never really got along with her I still don't necessarily get along with her with everything but at the end of the day she's still my mother I respect her for everything she's put up with me and just having the grace to show me a better way really and Never, you know, every just through everything. <laughs> I mean, I can start saying stories, but the fact that she stuck through it, even with her own personal life, she she just didn't have the greatest life either. Growing up as a child, um, and even now, she still has a lot of trouble with different relatives and different people. And especially, I think the one that hurts her the most is the fact that, like now, their relatives, maybe they're are my cousins. They're going to university, same age as me. They're almost graduating. And then they're like, "Oh, how's Daniel doing?" Oh, he's not going to school. Like, what's he doing? He's not like he was. He's just he's the you know he's being arrested and this and that. And it's like, how does my mother then go and tell them that that's the story of her child? She's struggling with me. She's trying to help me, and I'm basically spitting in her face. And then now she has to turn around to the others and defend me and say, "Yes, this is my child. He will become great one day." So I don't know what was in her. I don't know what she saw in me in the moment. I, I suppose motherly instinct. She did see something, and I believe she did. I believe I'm yet to manifest it, um, but I'm thankful that she had a vision for our family and for all of us as children, and she didn't let the circumstances and situations of the moment that are just going to pass anyways obscure her from her vision and from what she desired for her children. So I really appreciate that in her. and. Uh, I mean, I appreciate all women that can be like that to their children, all mothers. It's, it's a beautiful character. It's a beautiful trait to be a mother. It really is. And I respect motherhood because of that.